Tesla's 2025 annual shareholders meeting has just concluded, and as expected, the Tesla bot once again stole the spotlight. To deliver the most convincing response to the saying, I'll believe it when I see it, Elon Musk finally unveiled the official Gen 3 version, featuring a wild new design and insane capabilities, now entering large-scale mass production like never before. So that's really going to be something else. I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. Like bigger than cell phones, bigger than anything. I guess the way to think about it is that uh, every human on Earth is going to want to have their own personal R2D2 C3PO. But I think it's, it's going to literally get to 100 million a year, uh, maybe even a billion a year. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Today, we're bringing you the latest updates on the Tesla bot, including the finalized design, a full breakdown of all its features, the newest production plans, and the officially confirmed launch timeline from Elon Musk himself. But before diving into the hot news about the Tesla bot, let's take a moment to congratulate CEO Elon Musk, who has officially become the world's first trillionaire. His record-breaking $1 trillion compensation package was approved by 75% of Tesla shareholders. Interestingly, this package isn't paid in cash. Instead, it comes in the form of stock options, granting him up to 423.7 million additional Tesla shares over the next 10 years. Elon Musk confirmed that this compensation package isn't just a reward. It's a strategic condition for him to continue leading Tesla's expansion into the fields of AI and autonomous robotics. In other words, if anyone still believes that the Tesla bot is just a passing fad that could die at any moment, this stands as Musk's strongest commitment yet. For at least the next decade, Tesla bot development is here to stay. So, what's the real look of the Tesla bot Gen 3 at launch? And what kinds of real-world services and features does it bring to the table? The first and most important thing is that the Tesla bot is no longer just a demo on a screen. It's now operating completely independently without any human supervision or control. That's why Elon Musk emphasized that it's no wires. Just look at how the two Tesla bots interacted, dancing and communicating with Elon Musk and the audience during the conference. The two Optimus robots showcased at the event feature a striking two-tone design, combining matte metallic silver with jet black. Their outer shells are crafted with incredible precision, fully concealing the internal mechanical components and wiring. This refined design gives the humanoids a sleek professional appearance, setting them apart from the earlier Gen 2 versions. During the event, Elon Musk danced alongside the Optimus robot, holding its hand as they moved gracefully in sync. Optimus mirrored Musk's motions seamlessly, matching his steps, torso turns, and fluid hand gestures, demonstrating an incredibly advanced level of dynamic balance and motion control. The robot's face features a sleek, modern design with a glossy, flat surface capable of displaying emotions through an integrated LED screen. Notably, this LED panel boasts a brightness of over 600 nits, making it clearly visible even under strong lighting. Optimus can respond with emotional expressions in as little as 80 milliseconds, showcasing states such as listening, thinking, or task completion. One fascinating detail that many may have overlooked is that the robot is equipped with an articulated two degrees of freedom neck, allowing for much more flexible head movement compared to previous versions. This isn't just an aesthetic enhancement. It significantly improves nonverbal communication and environmental awareness. Beyond the Gen 3 hand's 22 degrees of freedom, another subtle yet impressive feature is its use of metallic tendons integrated with tactile sensors. These tendons are engineered to deliver both flexibility and strength, enabling the robot to perform delicate tasks, such as catching a balloon or arranging flowers. Each finger is powered by its own actuator, all of which are housed within the forearm to reduce overall weight and improve efficiency. The robot features human-like leg geometry with articulated toes, a design detail that might easily go unnoticed but is crucial for mobility. The leg joints are engineered to mimic human anatomy, allowing the robot to dynamically adjust joint stiffness within milliseconds before its foot touches the ground thanks to biomechanically inspired ankle actuators. According to announcements made at the event, Optimus Gen 3 is designed to perform between 100 and 150 household tasks per day. It has accumulated over 12,000 hours of virtual simulation and 3,500 hours of testing in controlled environments. The robot is now fully capable of voice interaction through XAI's Grok voice assistant. Optimus Gen 3 is powered by Tesla's 4680 battery cell, the same one used in Tesla vehicles. 
enabling all-day operation for domestic, healthcare, and elderly care tasks. Each bot can lift up to 20 pounds and deadlift approximately 150 pounds. So, what exactly did Elon Musk confirm that the Tesla bot is capable of doing? What caught our attention the most, however, was Musk's confirmation that Tesla is gearing up for the largest robot production scale in history, starting with a 1 million unit production line at Fremont, followed by 10 million units per year, and an even bolder long-term vision of 100 million units globally. If Tesla truly achieves that scale, the Tesla bot is on track to become a mass-market commercial product, no longer a lab prototype or a luxury reserved for the ultra-wealthy. When Musk said million-unit production line, it signaled one clear thing. Prices are going to drop dramatically, just like Tesla did with the Model 3. Honestly, we're hoping the Gen 3 price tag won't exceed the $20,000 figure Musk previously confirmed. It's almost hard to imagine. If a production line can manufacture millions of robots each year, it's clear that Tesla is aiming to bring Optimus into households, offices, and small businesses. I can already picture a future where buying or leasing a Tesla bot feels as natural as getting an iPhone or a Model 3. Installment plans, official warranty, OTA software updates, and seamless integration with Tesla's AI ecosystem. This makes us genuinely optimistic about its practicality. A robot doesn't need to be super intelligent to be useful. If it can handle basic household chores, assist with elderly care, or help out in workshops and warehouses, cleaning, simple cooking, carrying items, or managing heavy lifting, that alone would be enough to transform the way millions of people live and work. And when Musk mentioned that the first 1 million unit production line will be based in Fremont, the strategy became clear. Tesla wants to control the entire process, from hardware to software, ensuring quality before scaling up. If everything runs smoothly, a 10 million unit annual production line could turn Optimus into a mainstream consumer product, something you could buy just like a Dyson vacuum or a Tesla EV. For consumers, this is a crucial signal. It shows that Musk isn't just talking about robots, he's actually building them at an industrial scale. This means the retail price could become accessible, supply would be sufficient, and after-sales service standardized. All the things that truly matter to everyday buyers. But more importantly, we believe that no matter how many tasks these bots are capable of performing or what kinds of jobs they can take on, the real priority lies elsewhere. What truly matters is not how much the Tesla bot can do, but how safely it can do it, both in the literal and figurative sense. Tesla must ensure that these machines are fundamentally safe, reliable, and trustworthy before anything else. At Tesla's engineering facility in Austin, Texas, a team of engineers and technicians work tirelessly to recreate even the smallest nuances of human motion. They carefully lift a cup, wipe a table, pull a curtain, then stop, review the data, and do it all over again. Each seemingly simple movement is part of an enormous effort to teach Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot, how to move and react like a real human being with absolute precision and safety. The participants in this training program wear specialized gear, helmets mounted with five cameras, backpacks filled with sensors and motion capture equipment. They spend eight hours a day under bright laboratory lights where every movement is tracked in three dimensions. If a motion doesn't look natural, the system detects it and requests a correction, recalled a former employee. Tesla sees this as the foundation for helping the robot understand the human body, not just its shape, but its rhythm and weight. Here, meticulousness becomes a science. Every step, every bend is recorded and analyzed by algorithms. Engineers use arrays of cameras positioned throughout the room to ensure that every angle of motion is captured. After the robotics technical director left Tesla, the system was upgraded with new sensors and motion tracking gloves, enabling Optimus to learn delicate manipulations like grasping, rotating, and gentle touch without posing any danger to humans. The training itself is physically demanding. One technician joked that each workday feels like a full cardio session. Yet behind the sweat and 12-hour shifts lies Tesla's core philosophy. Every movement of data is a brick in the foundation of safety. The robot is only allowed to replicate actions that have been proven to be stable and force-controlled, eliminating even the smallest potential risks to humans in real-world environments. Occasionally, Elon Musk himself walks into the lab, quietly observing the technicians as they repeat their choreographed sequences. For him, it's more than just a test of engineering capability. 
it's a testament to how Tesla envisions the future of robotics, where artificial intelligence is shaped by scientific precision and human caution. Standing 1.73 meters tall and weighing 57 kilograms, Optimus has gone through thousands of hours of learning to walk and stand. Every video clip, every lifted arm is reviewed before being fed into the machine learning system. The result is a robot that moves fluidly, responds intelligently, and, most importantly, operates safely around humans. Elon Musk once said, AI and software has its limits, but when placed in a physical body, its potential becomes infinite. And to reach that infinite potential, Tesla chose to start with something profoundly simple, teaching Optimus how to be human, one gesture, one breath at a time, with absolute precision. Until now, Tesla Bot Gen 3 launched with at least four major upgrades, marking the final and most complete version yet. It will be capable of performing up to 150 expanded tasks per day through self-learning and human behavior imitation. Elon Musk confidently claims the robot will be able to cook daily meals or even prepare breakfast like a real household assistant. During Tesla's third quarter earnings call, Elon Musk confirmed that the Tesla Bot Gen 3 will debut later this year with an extraordinary design optimized for mass production, though he declined to specify how it differs from the current Gen 2 model. What is clear, however, is that the yellow and black Optimus prototypes recently showcased are not Gen 3, but rather version 2.5. Musk intentionally held back the official reveal until Tesla's 2025 annual shareholders meeting, a move that came as no surprise, given that Tesla traditionally reserves its biggest announcements for this yearly event. The newly unveiled Optimus Gen 3 showcases several notable improvements, smoother contours, cleaner joint structures, and far fewer exposed cables. The once boxy frame has been refined into a more rounded and slender design, marking a shift from prototype aesthetics to a product-ready look. More importantly, the robot now integrates XAI's Grok voice assistant, allowing it to respond to spoken questions, though there's still a slight delay and hesitation in its replies. Nevertheless, this represents a significant leap toward more natural human-robot interaction. However, few realize that Tesla's real focus lies in perfecting Optimus Gen 3, a robot designed to outperform every existing humanoid model, including the Unitree G1, which may take years to catch up. Gen 3 isn't built solely for industrial applications, but also for real household tasks. Cooking, cleaning, and home management. The most astonishing upgrade is its battery life. Just two hours of charging delivers 22 hours of continuous operation. To enable Optimus to handle more complex tasks, Tesla has invested heavily in what it calls the robot's real brain. Recently, Tesla quietly hinted that it may soon integrate Neuralink chips into future generations of Tesla bots, a move that could radically enhance their cognitive and adaptive capabilities. In everyday life, a person with limited mobility could simply think about standing up, and Optimus would respond instantly, offering support, maintaining balance, or guiding them with the same attentiveness as a human assistant. At home, users might only need to imagine the process of brewing coffee or setting the table and Optimus would carry out each step precisely as envisioned. In industrial environments, engineers could oversee entire assembly lines through thought alone, directing multiple Optimus units to adjust machinery, transport materials, or perform quality checks, all without ever touching a control panel. Then there are the hands of the Tesla bot. Musk admitted that building a truly dexterous robotic hand is one of the most difficult engineering challenges Tesla has ever faced, a hundred times harder when scaled for industrial production. According to him, creating Optimus is more challenging than building the Model X, tougher than the Cybertruck, and even more complex than constructing an entire Gigafactory, though, as he joked, still easier than Starship. Why such obsession with the hands? Musk argues that everything in our environment, the tools, furniture, and devices, was designed for the human form. If a robot aims to operate within our world, it must mirror that form, especially our hands, the very tools that shaped civilization. The human hand, with its 27 degrees of freedom and intricate tendon muscle network, is a masterpiece of evolution, capable of both brute strength and delicate precision. For a truly general-purpose robot, mastering this mechanism is essential. And here lies the stumbling block for most robotics companies. They can make machines that walk, jump, or play ping-pong, but not one that can peel an orange, wash vegetables, or fold laundry. Tesla's approach to Optimus tackles exactly that gap. Cooking, Musk often says, 
is the ultimate benchmark for a humanoid robot. Making a simple breakfast, eggs and bacon, requires an orchestra of actions. Opening the fridge, identifying ingredients, holding fragile eggs, turning on the stove, managing timing, stirring, flipping, and plating. Every step demands real-time coordination between perception, dexterous manipulation, and balance. If Optimus can cook, it will have crossed the line between industrial robot and human companion. Over the years, Tesla's progress with Optimus has been staggering. Introduced at AI Day 2021 to skepticism, it was literally a man in a suit. The project quickly evolved. By 2022, a working prototype could already walk awkwardly. By late 2023, the Gen 2 model was 30% faster, capable of folding laundry, picking up eggs without cracking them, and even dancing. In 2024, Optimus began operating within Tesla's own factories, performing sorting and logistics tasks. Next year, Gen 3 will take the next leap, handling domestic chores with fluid precision and independence. As Musk promised, by 2026, you'll be able to ask it to do a wide range of jobs. He envisions a world where every home and business might have its own Optimus, a friendly, tireless companion that cleans, cooks, teaches, or simply keeps company. So what about you? What will you buy the Tesla bot for first when Gen 3 goes on sale next year? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.